Hello, this is Daniel Plays. My name is Daniel and welcome to a brand new Minecraft video in which I will explain to you how to install shaders in Minecraft. Now, I'm making this video because I got a couple of comments of people asking me how to install shaders. So here it is. This is a tutorial on how to install shaders in Minecraft 1.11.2. But of course this tutorial also applies to previous Minecraft versions and probably also to a couple of next upcoming versions like Minecraft 1.12 too. So without further ado, let's get straight to the tutorial. So first of all, we're going to be installing Optifine. Optifine is a mod that allows you to load shader packs into Minecraft and it's incredibly easy to install. All you've got to do is just download a .jar or .jar, it's a Java file. But what you want to do is click the link in the description, it will be optifine.net slash downloads. And you just want to find this top one that says Minecraft 1.11.2 and you want to click the latest version, which is obviously the top version that's got the most recent release date. So you just want to download this one, skip the ad, click this link right here. So what you want to do now is just click the file and it will open an installer. That's amazing. It's so easy. So if once you've opened this folder, you think this line is not correct or after you clicked install, it says that this folder is not correct. What you want to do is just go over to search, type in percent, app data percent, hit return or enter. And you want to find this folder called .minecraft. That's all you need. So what I'm going to do is click install. It looks like the program is frozen, but it's not. There we go. That was it. It was like two seconds and Optifine is now successfully installed. But wait, we will of course need some shaders to actually load in using Optifine. So for that, I've gone with SFLP shaders. The link to that will also be in the description. I also did a review of this shader pack. It's really good for low end PCs. But for now, I'm just going to download this. I'm just going to download the uh, light version here. Why not? You can just uh, skip that and click download here. Direct download, of course. There we go. That's it. Now, first of all, you should launch Minecraft once. So what I'm going to do is click Minecraft here. Uh, launch it using this new profile that the uh, installer created for you. If it's not automatically selected, then you can use this, I was going to say drop down menu, but this is somewhat of a drop up uh, menu. But yeah, you want to click Optifine so it launches with Optifine HD U and then the version that you selected. So we can just click play here. You can also do this when you're in a world already, but uh, it can also be done from the menu. You want to go over to options video settings and then on this left side here there should be a button called shaders and it only has an off option and internal option and the internal shader is just a kind of brightened version of minecraft's normal shading stuff i guess yeah so we want to click here is shaders folder because it will be super easy i mean it takes a ton of more time to actually look this up yourself so what you want to do now is you want to go over to the shader that you downloaded somehow. Um, for me, it's still over here. So I can just drag this zip file in this shader packs folder. So as you can see, this is dot Minecraft slash shader packs. And there we go. It's in there. And now if I go back to Minecraft, look at that. Look at that. That is F at the, oh man, that name SFLP shaders light. So it's going to take some time and now I have got the shaders. So if I were to uh, make a world now, I've, I've already got a world. Well, you know what? We can just check it out. I can prove to you that this has actually worked. There we go. This is what I call Minecraft. Now, this is not a very clear shader, but you can obviously tell that this is not vanilla Minecraft shading. This is a shader pack. So I hope this video helped you out a lot because I got some questions that's what gave me the idea of actually making this video for you guys but um, I hope I actually helped you out if I did help you out then make sure to hit that thumbs up subscribe for more videos Minecraft related as always and I will catch you later see ya